And THC in the developing mind is incredibly harmful. MRI studies show that there is a thinning of the prefrontal cortex in adolescents who use marijuana, depending upon how many times they use, their free prefrontal cortex is thinner and it doesn't grow back. It is literally damaging their brains. It is brain damage. So at Johnny's Ambassadors Youth Marijuana Prevention, we are specifically focused on teaching the science, the neurology about how the brain forms and what happens at this young age when these very high potency THC molecules get into that brain and how it causes, in my son's case, psychosis. After five years, he thought the mob was after him. He thought the university was an FBI base. He thought everybody knew everything about him. And he told me I was in on it. Now we're talking about a brilliant child uh, who was normal in every way. He had no physical problems, no mental health issues. We do not have psychosis in our family. In fact, he was tested uh, for the genomine. We were looking at what medication uh, might be good for him several years after using marijuana. Uh, and he had no genes for any of the schizophrenia or any of the mental illnesses such as uh, bipolar. Uh, but he became mentally ill and had a psychotic break at the age of 19 after dabbing marijuana.